Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and today we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Fantasy Creature Battle Spider. So I chose this one uh, because I am a fan of you know weird looking creatures in all kinds of fantasy games and overall the quality of these is not too bad at all. Um, they look relatively decent until you zoom in closely where it does become a little bit blurry. But I think depending on the style of game you're creating, that's not going to matter too much. You could always perhaps enhance this yourself by adding your own materials and textures to these particular creatures. So quantity wise, we actually get these two spiders and it does describe itself as spider, singular, yet we get two, even though the picture shows two. So I'm in two minds as to whether to count the other spider as an extra or not, because the picture does have two, but it only describes itself as one. So mm, you could, I guess, if you wanted to. Uh, but yeah, we get the two spiders, uh, we get the animator, uh, material, prefabs, and the scene as well that we're in. And if we press play, we can see we get spiders and they do come with the animations inside the prefab so you can play around with it it is customizable as always they do have the same animations so you can see they're doing exactly the same thing each and yeah i do kind of like them and as i always say with this kind of thing if you apply post-processing you can really add something different to the game you know depending on what you want it to look like so a couple of different profiles selected here and I know this is the old version of post-processing but the theory is still the same. You can change how it looks and they do look kind of cool. So overall I like how these look with post-processing especially if you're creating for example a Resident Evil style game. I feel like these spiders would fit in quite well with any kind of survival horror. Even just a standard like fantasy RPG, I guess, I think they would fit in quite well. So their usefulness in various different types of games is going to be quite appreciated in whatever you're creating. Obviously, if you're creating some kind of quiz game, maybe not these unless there's something specific about a fantasy looking spider. But even going down the realms of um, like just a standard first person shooter, you may be able to fit them in one way or another. So... How customizable are these particular spiders? Well, going into things like the materials, you know, obviously we can play around with this, change just how they look. Like it goes a bit darker there. We can change the albedo, increase the normal map to make him look really grotty and, you know, evil, I guess. Is that the right word to use? So yeah, they are always customizable to that extent uh, with the materials. Just a quick change on some of these materials and they can look absolutely fantastic and look completely different. So always keep that in mind when trying to customize assets. Play around with the materials first and see what effects you can come up with. Uh, so obviously we've got the demo scene and I always love demo scenes. Uh, they are incredibly helpful. Neat and tidy folders all laid out. And I think realistically, uh, overall, they are generally well made. Like I say, if you zoom in really far, you can see they are a little bit um, muddy, the textures. But I don't think any game with these in is going to be zoomed in. I mean, most people don't like spiders. So I think this kind of distance is good enough for this sort of uh, asset. So price and size. Obviously, hopefully you saw the big free sign earlier, but remember asset prices do change from time to time on the asset store. So as of recording this, it is indeed free, but it may have gone up in price or it may still be free whenever you uh, come across the asset. One thing I will say is this image here, I don't think does the asset justice. I think it could look a lot better and it does look a lot better, uh, but either way, it still looks good in this image. Uh, file size is just over uh, 11 meg, well just under 12 meg I should say, uh, which is a really good file size. But keep in mind that those textures are a little bit blurry, so that could be a reason why those uh, the, the size of it is not quite so large. But if you're creating for mobile devices, just keep in mind that obviously these sizes increase and you want to keep the file size relatively small on mobile. But if you're creating a, a really rocking first person survival horror game, yeah. Don't worry about the size at all. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. And this one is one I would recommend. Uh, I love how these look. They're really well designed. They can fit in multiple different types of games. You can play around with them. Uh, the only drawback, like I say, still comes back to that texture. Uh, but playing around with the animations on them isn't going to be a problem. You can easily 
play around with a lot of these things. Uh, you know, you've got the animations there, because all you really need for this is the spider idle, attacking, running, whatever. So just those animations there that we can see right there, that is going to be enough to create an awesome looking game. And if you're a beginner to Unity, these are definitely worth checking out and having a play around with and see what you can come up with creating spiders. So guys, have you tried this asset out yourself? If you have, let me know in the comments what you personally think. And if you like the asset, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down, but tell me why you don't like the asset. Uh, and if you've got anything on the asset store yourself, please let me know in the comments because I'd love to check it out and possibly review it in one of these videos. And finally, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well. And you can stay up to date with everything I've got on video game development on my channel. Hopefully I'll see you around in another video. Catch you later, guys.